Hi there, my name is Lorraine Simmons, and I will be reading for the role of Maggie. Dear Lorraine, thank you so much for your interest in this production. I absolutely loved your audition for Maggie, and I am excited to offer you the role. My concern is this. I have offered non-locals roles in the past and they have rejected the role unexpectedly because of the location. I know you are already aware that this is unpaid and that filming is far away from where you live. So I am hoping you will accept the role and my concerns will turn out to be irrelevant. Anyways, let me know what you think. I look forward to working with you. Thanks so much. And Hi there, Lorraine. I hope you have been having a wonderful day. I just wanted to let you know about a message I sent to your front row profile yesterday. Basically, I just wanted to let you know that I loved your audition for Maggie. As I said in my message, I am a bit hesitant because you are a non-local. But I trust you wouldn't have auditioned if these things would be deal breakers. Let me know what you think. I look forward to hearing that from you, Emmy. Dear Emmy, Thank you for reaching out to me. I definitely understand this project being unpaid. However, are you planning on covering stay, travel, or otherwise? In another film I'm in, they will be covering all expenses. Thanks, Lorraine. Hi. I will not be covering stay, travel, etc. because I am paying for sets, props, food, and more. It does state in the casting that filming is in Colorado. I mean no disrespect, but can I ask why you auditioned if these things would be deal breakers? If they're not, and I misunderstood, please correct me. 
this is a project that I am very proud of and I think it will send a very important message about friendship and kindness to the world. I hope you'll be a part of it. Evans. that this was going to be a professional production. So, Emmy, I will not be participating in this project. It is completely unfair of you to ask that a professional actor travel at their own expense for something like this. I suggest you take this advice, work with local talent. Even your own parents should be giving you the proper support needed for this film. However, there's no chance I will be doing this. How do I even respond to this? Hey, Mom! Who does she think she is? Not really sure. How do I answer her? Well, you could not answer her. Or we can write something to her together, okay? Um, I want to answer her. Um... Do you want to start, or do you want me to think of something? I'll start and show it to you. Lorraine, I would beg to differ. And I'm sure my cast members, both past and present, would agree. What I believe to be unfair is your words and treatment of me. You don't know me, my project, my cast, or how hard I've worked on this over the past several months. With all due respect, your rude suggestions regarding who I should and should not cast are not needed. It's pretty presumptuous of you to assume that I need them and that this isn't a professional film. I have so many people who support me in this project, my parents included. I wish you could see the big picture as the rest of the cast does. If you weren't able to participate, simply tell me that and move on. It's not very kind of you to judge a teenage girl who you know nothing about. And again, I feel a need to point out that you did audition for an unpaid role with a clearly defined film location. I think it's great. I'm really proud of you sticking up for yourself. Do you feel comfortable sending it? Yeah. Then send it. Him. What happened? You're not gonna believe this. There was this woman I wanted to give the role of Maggie to and she totally just started bullying me. What? What did she say? Well, for starters, I'm unprofessional and so is my film. Oh my god. What the heck? I- adults should be more mature than teenagers. You would think. I can't even begin to tell you how angry I am right now. What are you going to do? I don't know yet. God, some people just cannot communicate properly. You're telling me! She's the impressional one, not you. 
I know that. I just wish she did. I've got to go. I'll update you. Okay, bye, and good luck. Hey. Hey, anything back from Lorraine yet? Hold on. You're right. I really am not interested. I wish you much luck in your journey to becoming a better person who is able to take constructive criticism without becoming a crazy reactive lunatic. And obviously, I'm blocking you if not me. What should I do? You're not gonna do anything. Give me your laptop. What, what are we doing? I'm gonna respond to her myself. I can respond to her, you don't have to. I know you can. But as your mother, a line has been crossed here and it's time I step in. I know you're capable of handling this yourself, but this has now turned into an adult matter. This is a grown woman bullying my 14-year-old daughter. Lorraine, this is Emmy's mother, Elise. I read the email exchange and I am extremely proud of how Emmy handled your wrath, disrespect, and unprofessionalism. I don't know exactly why you think you're so superior, but honestly, I think you need to humble yourself. All Emmy did was invite you to audition for her film, and you did. It's as simple as that. She loved your audition, but kindly explained her concerns to you. Kindly. Think about how you responded to a teenager. Quite honestly, I don't know why you feel you have the right to speak down to anyone in this situation. In the future, please bully someone your own size and do not contact my daughter again. Better yet, don't bully at all. Does this look okay to you? Do you have any problem with me sending that? Um, let's get send it. Okay. It's sent. Hey, good morning. Hey, what's wrong? I think Lorraine reported you. What? On front row? Why? I don't know, but I got this email from them that I have to respond to. What does it say? You can read it. Dear Elise, we at Front Row Talent regret to inform you that we have temporarily locked your Front Row account. There have been several complaints and concerns filed regarding your profile, so it will remain locked until we can resolve this matter. In addition to complaints in regards to your casting calls, it has also come to our attention that you have been directly communicating with talent. Because you are under the age of 18, all communication with talent should be from your parent or guardian. By no means should a minor be communicating with anyone. Once we hear back from your parent or guardian, we will take the next steps in unlocking your account. Thank you, Felix. What the heck? They do realize that you're Elise, right? And since when is it like illegal for me to communicate with people on my own project. I've been doing that for a whole year. I know. What do I even say? This is ridiculous. I don't know. <sighs> Hello, Felix. This is Emmy's mom, Elise. I can, unfortunately, imagine who made this unjust complaint on my daughter's front row profile. In regards to her communicating with talent, yes, she has been, but only under the guise of similar activity we have been seeing from others on your website since last April. We had zero idea that this was against your terms, or we would not have been doing that all along, of course. With all due respect, my daughter was cyberbullied, then unjustly reported by that same person, but our account was frozen as if we are in the wrong? What happened to innocent until proven guilty? You must be aware that there was a cyberbully on your website, as she is the person, I'm sure, who reported my daughter. How can you allow a cyberbully on your website? Why would you not lock her account on its own or with ours? 
please explain to me what your standards are for locking people's accounts. Let me know what we can do in order to get our account working again. Thank you, Elise. Hey, you okay? She reported me. Hold the phone. I know. Front row emailed me, my mom, I don't know, this morning. My account is literally frozen. I can't get it. What in the world is the main issue? Does she not have anything better to do with her life? Oh, one sec. Oh my god, Han. What now? My mom just forwarded me another email from front row. What's it say? At least we are going to need to hear back from your parents slash guardian before we can discuss unlocking your account. We have a zero tolerance policy for breaking the rules and conditions. We understand that you claim this was an accident, however, since it was ongoing for an entire year, we have to take action in locking your account. Once again, please have your parents slash guardian respond as soon as possible so we can possibly unlock your account. They do realize that your mum is Elise, right? That's what I said. Everyone's an idiot. You didn't know. There are literally so many people that I've interacted with under 18 who have communicated directly with me too. Like, I'm definitely not the only one, and it wasn't an issue until Lorraine decided to report me. I'm sorry, she's literally the worst. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna go. My mom just sat down, and I'm sure she wants me to read her response. <laughs> okay, bye. Here, you can read all of this. This is Elise, as I have stated multiple times at this point. Emmy is my daughter. I understand your rule and I do agree with it. However, when one does not know about the rule and unintentionally and unknowingly breaks it, I do disagree with punishing that. Did we read the terms and conditions when we joined the site? Yes. But after almost a full year of having casting directors, directors, and other talent communicating directly with Emmy, we subconsciously fell into step with everyone else. There was no ill intent whatsoever. What do we need to do in order to gain back access to our account? If you need me to handle all of the communications with talent from now on, consider it done. It is not my first choice. But if that's what needs to be done in order for Emmy to be able to continue using front row with the limitations that we now know about, then so be it. Again, please let me know what needs to be done in order for us to be able to get into the account once again. Thank you, Elise. Hi, Elise. I understand your frustrations. Unfortunately, intentionally or not, Emmy did break our protocol. I understand you're saying that it was all an accident, but we still had to put your account on lockdown. Additionally, we also had to lock the account in order to allow ourselves time to investigate the complaint made in regards to Emmy's project, Rise of Friendship. You yourself said that you would not want to communicate for your daughter, Emmy. If you can agree to our terms, we will allow Emmy to use front row for our casting services. She will not, however, be able to post casting jobs of her own. Let me know about this option. Michaela. Okay, so an honest mistake equals locking an account, but cyberbullying equals free reign. Yes, I said that I would not want to do that. Yes, I want my daughter to be able to communicate herself with people for her projects. She has handled all previous communications flawlessly and beautifully. This is her passion and creativity, not mine. So from my standpoint, me having to write for her, speak for her, do everything for her is stifling her talents. I am not trying to skirt the rules, nor do I expect special treatment. My point is simply that I oversaw everything Emmy did and said since day one. Not once did we have an issue of any kind. Now, this cyberbully, in order to take the focus off of her own unacceptable actions, reports our account, and suddenly we are under the microscope. 
That being said, I was very clear in saying that if I need to handle everything in order to get the account back, I will do it. Thank you, Elise. I literally can't believe that. I know. I don't expect I'll be able to get in, but I'm in. Wait, what? I don't know why, since they said the account is locked. I'm not allowed to do anything there, right? Until we get this all figured out, neither one of us is going to touch this account. Moving forward, I'll just do all the posts for you and do all of the communications. But here's what I'm thinking, Emmy. Maybe you should find the silver lining in all of this. What, what if I, like, write a screenplay about this or something? That's perfect. Hi, Elise. This is Matthew from Front Row Talent. This matter has been passed to me, and I hope that we can come to an agreement and solve this problem amicably. I understand that Emmy communicating directly with Talent was completely unknowing on your part. We have to lock your account because we do have to investigate every complaint that comes in. Now, I would like to give you and Emmy access back to the account under the agreement that you handle all communications within the front row site or app. Offsite, we do not encourage that Emmy has communications with cast members. However, we cannot prevent that outside of front row. So, we have a couple options. The first of which is what I previously stated. You gain full access back to all aspects of the website and you will handle all on-site communications or we have option two which is that you choose to leave our website in which case we will cancel your membership and account entirely offering you a full refund please let me know which route you would like to take thanks matthew matthew thank you for your understanding and willingness to resolve this matter we would love to go with the first option and have access to all features of front row back. Yes, I will handle all on-site communications for Emmy. Once again, we appreciate your cooperation and understanding. Thank you, Elise. Hey, Mom. Okay, what do you want your title to be? What about my story of cyberbullying? Okay. And what do you want the description to be? Mm. This project is based on a real occurrence. It is so important to get the message of cyberbullying out there as it can occur in many, in many ways. Hi, I'm Eliza. And I'm Emma. Bullying, in any form, such as cyberbullying, is a huge issue in our world today. That's why more people need to stand up and speak out. If you experience bullying, whether you are the victim or someone else's, and whether it's face-to-face -face or online, report it to a trusted parent, guardian, or other adult. They can help you. Bullying can have so many negative effects, mentally, emotionally, and even physically. That's why it's important to do what we can to prevent it. See something, say something.